Aloha, people of the internet. It is me, Jeremy Vaney, and this is what it looks like when you wake up at 3.30 in the morning to uh, write the essay of my life about, well, tying in spirituality with the paranormal, with science, uh, in a way that even blew my own mind. It took me a couple hours to write, but I did it. Yay. And what is this for? It is for the new website that I'm going to be building Thanks to all of your feedback um, in the, the little poll. Let me see here. I don't really feel like editing this, so bear with me for my pauses. Uh, I asked, will you pay for a serious website dedicated to your transcendence? And resoundingly, so far, you've said yes. Um, so great. Let's go ahead and make that website. Um, hopefully by March. And I will be rolling out more details. Uh, as the weeks go by. Uh, right now, I'm just purely going to work on content, content, content. But while I'm taking a break from that, um, let's answer some of your concerns. Uh, let's see. D. Nicholas Breitbach, who was uh, a guest on my show, The Experience, not too long ago. Um, his feedback is, yes, this could be fun to do, but as you know, I believe I have most of this already figured out. He then later went on to write me personally and say, after hearing the lousy feedback he received in the comment section of his episode, he will not be partaking because his input will not be welcome, he feels. Um, to which I say, if you believe that you have life, the universe, and everything mostly figured out, uh, yeah. No, you don't. Um, I, I think that when you lead with, uh, as he did in the interview, my mother, uh, didn't allow me to play with other kids. And so I went internally, I went inward and, um, uh, he basically spent the day talking to himself and then his own inner voice, it seems splits off into a bunch of different voices. If we, if I'm reading this cr him correctly, that I believe he is mistaking for a higher self and for other entities that he is interested in through UFO literature, paranormal literature, and the such. Um, and I'm not saying this to embarrass you or to be a jerk or anything like that. It's just simply that you've got to look at that. That's the type of honesty it takes to even touch this website uh, because no, we're not going to be dealing with people who believe they've got everything all figured out or, or any of that stuff. This is, if you had it figured out, you wouldn't be talking to me. <laughs> you wouldn't, and you certainly wouldn't join this website. Um, so I think the first step in even wanting to listen to anything about uh, the type of transcendence, if we want to call it that, uh, that we're going to be dealing with is you have to get right with yourself. You have to, deal with your own issues um, and make sure that you've done that. And we'll talk more about that um, on the website because uh, I guess I should add that this is not, this isn't going to be about, you know, the uh, ascension to enlightenment, you know, that sort of masculine thing or the uh, descent of compassion and love for all that, that the female energy thing. Um, it, we're, we're, we're done with that. It's time to, uh, bypass all of this and go straight to the big enchilada from which I almost said all this trickles down, but then I had Reagan and trickle down economics in my head and that never works, but this does uh, from which all of this flows. Um, so th there's a lot of stuff that we, that we learn about so-called enlightenment that uh, comes after the fact, but we learn it as if we can do it to achieve something before the fact, and we can't. And so we're not dealing with any of that. Um, yeah. I guess I said everything I need to say there. R. John writes, uh, don't want to be the fool soon parted, dot, dot, dot. You know the rest. Well, you just heard me say to one potential person, don't, uh, yeah, you probably don't want to come to the website. It's probably not going to be for you. Um, so uh, I get... I think what you're saying is you don't want to be the fool who is suckered into paying for something that is just me BSing you or isn't going to work or something. 
Of course, I can't attest to that it's going to work for you. I can't promise that at all. I can attest that I'm not going to be BSing you, but your concern is completely valid. I mean, why would you believe me? <laughs> right? So, no, I get that. Um, I would just say that that uh, I think my point in even charging for this website, a big part of the point, is to weed out people who I don't want to year because they're going to think that it's the thing they want it to be and it's not going to end up that for them and they're just going to be wasting their money so a lot of people do waste their money on these things and i don't want if you think that's going to be you i don't want that to be you um so no no harm no foul there i completely get that uh jeanette sa writes if i can understand the content on the site that is will this be beginner level so in other words she voted yes she would pay for that website. And she's asking if I can understand the content of it, will this be beginner level? And the answer is it's beginner level for everybody. And that's my point with Nick too. Um, yes, it beginner. There is no beginner. There is no master. It's all, uh, everything that I write and every video that I make and every audio component that, that comes from me is going to contain the seed, uh, the kernel that can, explode in you can if if you hear it right if you read it the right way it's like a combination lock a little click will happen and the door will open um and so i'm gonna try to be meticulous with my words uh and my delivery and yes we're going to go through everything is going to be explained very slowly like so in other words by everything i mean every term that i use isn't just gonna be like oh the this the that the ego the self the whatever no, these are all going to be very specifically defined, and the purpose of specifically defining them is that we can. And so that which can be defined isn't the mystery, right? So if we can el eliminate the things that aren't mystery and also uh, sort of give answers to the chattering brain, perhaps something in you will calm down and, you know, clarity will become the case. It's hard for clarity to become the case, and we're always thinking and bopping around and, you know, pretending that everything is uh, mysterious. Um, there's enough mystery to go around that we don't have to pretend that. Um, but also, isn't it great to just clear up terms that have been so completely overused through the years in various sects? So, uh, R. McCravey writes, uh, oh, I, I already read that, I'm sorry. Um, Corgi Jim writes, the way it is worded, it kind of sounds like, quote, I'm doing air quotes, are you against wife beating? Would you consider or be able to? Might be better. So he's telling me that if I had written, would you consider or be able to partake in this website, pay for this website? That might have been a better word choice for me. Uh, that might get more honest answers like, perhaps, I think you were doing a great job and may or may not join, depending on several factors and details. I've been to four Dreamland festivals, so would consider it. Um, well, it, it's actually not like your analogy, which is a rather extreme analogy. It's kind of like saying, are you against wife beating? Um, no, I'm, I'm not saying, are you for your own transcendence? I'm saying, are you willing to pay for a serious website dedicated to it? That's a completely different question. And actually, I didn't want to get perhapses or maybes, or I would have put that as an option. Um, and I guess what I should wish I had not done was even put the option of no. It should have just been a one, you know, click yes if you you want to join because it it doesn't really matter so much how many people don't want to join or say they might join if um, I want to know who's really dedicated and interested in this um, because I've been to the mountaintop and I think I can. I don't know. See now I wish I were editing because. Mountaintop. Uh, anyway, um, so depending on several factors and details, I've been to four Dreamland festivals, so I consider it. This isn't going to be like uh, Dreamland. This isn't going to be um, like the experience. This isn't going to be like Paratopia. This isn't going to be any of that stuff, just, just to warn you. So again, I don't want you to be the fool. I don't want anyone to pay for this thinking they're going to get something that they're not. Um... Mike writes, I'm a subscriber to Unknown Country. 
would be great if you could do a deal with Whitley and offer a joint membership deal. Uh, obviously cheaper than two separate subscriptions. I probably could. I could ask Whitley Strieber. For those of you who don't know, I do uh, an internet radio program called The Experience for Whitley Strieber's uh, UnknownCountry.com. And yes, I probably could. I'm sure Whitley would be, you know, amicable to that. But I don't want to. I don't even want to ask. Um, because these are separate things. Uh, and I think it's important enough. How about that? Maybe just self-important enough. I hope not. Um, Miriam Hamlet writes, Cripes, you mean I could have waited to buy Urgency? LOL. Sounds interesting. Seems to me that you are feeling somewhat driven to share all this. The time is right. Bring it, brother. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did say that I would probably put my book Urgency, at least in PDF form, for free for subscribers on the website. And I apologize. But if I do that, um, whatever the next book is I write, I will send to you for free as a PDF so that way you don't have to buy whatever the next thing is, assuming that you like my writing and we're going to buy it anyway. I guess that's a big assumption. Maybe you thought urgency was crap, and you're like, wow, wish I had spent that money on toilet paper. Uh, but I don't think that's what you're saying. So uh, the next book, for you personally, just remind me, whenever I, I release that, um, I, I, will, I shall send you a copy um, so that you don't make the mistake of paying for it. Um, and that's something I wish I could edit out too, because now how many people are going to write asking if they can get, uh, free books? The answer is none of you. I'm, I'm doing a charge website. <laughs> so pay up. No, I don't know. Um, all right. That is that. I am now going to go watch Grimm. Has anyone seen this show Grimm? Anyway, sort of, uh, powering through grim and then uh, and then off to bed so sweet dreams everybody